Hey guys, welcome back to our channel Stop My Closet. For today's project, I have taken 3 meter printed fabric and 1 meter plain fabric. And this is the measurement I am using. You can adjust it according to your requirement. Firstly, I'll cut the front bodies, and for that, I've cut out the required length that is 15 inch including 1 inch for seam allowance and I have folded the fabric by half in width. Now I'll mark the measurements. For shoulder take half of shoulder width. In my measurement shoulder width is 13.5 inch so half of it is 6.75 inch. Neck width is 3 inch. Mark half inch downwards for shoulder slope and join it to the neck width point. From this point, mark half of armhole round that is 7 inch in my measurement. I'll deduct half inch as this is sleeveless. Join these points. Mark 1 inch inwards and again join it to the shoulder slope point. From the top mark a point at 10.5 inch shoulder to burst point and 14.5 inch extend these points now I'll mark the round measurements for chest I'm adding 2 inch of ease in my measurement chest round is 31 inch 31 plus 2 is 33 and dividing it by 4 I'll get 8.25 inch For burst, I'm adding 3 inch of ease. In my measurement, burst round is 32 inch. 32 plus 3 is 35 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 8.75 inch. For waist, I'm adding 2 inch of ease. In my measurement, waist round is 28 inch. 28 plus 2 is 30 and dividing it by 4, I'll get 7.5 inch. Now I'll join these points. Give slight curve to this pointed shape. Adding seam allowance. Now I'll draw front and back armhole curves. So this is basic bodies marking. I'm making halter neck bodies. Now for that, I'll mark the neckline. Mark 1 inch downwards. Again mark neck width point 3 inch. Draw round shape. Now I'll mark 1 inch downwards on the neckline. and mark starting point of curve on the armhole and join these points so this will be the halter neck So this is front bodies, now I'll cut it. Now I'll cut the back bodies. For back bodies again I have taken the required length and I folded the fabric by half in width. From the unfold side I leave 0.25 inch for seam allowance. I'll be adding zipper. Taking this line as center, mark neck width point that is 3 inch. 
and neck depth will be half inch I'm making band neckline again mark neck width point draw curve shape now again taking this line as center I'll place the front bodies and I'll cut it so with this cutting of bodies is complete now I'll cut the bottom round I'm making gathered bottom and for that I need a rectangular piece of fabric length of bottom will be full length of dress minus bodies length minus border width in my measurement full length of dress is 52 inch bodies length is 14 inch and border width is 3 inch so 52 minus 14 minus 3 is 35 inch I'll add 1 inch for seam allowance so I have taken length 36 inch and to add gathers I have taken full width of fabric you can change it according to your choice so with this cutting of my dress is complete now I'll stitch it I have added piping on the armholes I have taken bias tape for piping fold one edge like this and make a stitch So I made a stitch, now place the bias tape on the bodies right sides together and make a stitch. Now keep the seam allowance direction towards the piping fold it like this it's your choice how thick you want your piping to be and make a stitch on the body's edge I'm using plain fabric as border. I folded the fabric twice in width. Ready border width is 3 inch. Mark double of it that is 6 inch. I'll take 0.75 inch for seam allowance. Both fabric width is same, so I just need one strip for one side. I'll cut one more for the back. Fold and iron the seam allowance on one side. Now leave seam allowance on the top and Fold the border by half and iron it. Similarly finish the whole length of border. Now I'll attach the border with the bottom. Place the border on the bottom right sides together and make a stitch. So I've attached the border. Now keep the seam allowance direction towards the border. Fold the border by half. I've already folded and ironed the seam allowance on the other side. Now make a stitch from the back side of the bottom.
so I have attached the bottle and this is how it looks now similarly I'll attach bottle on the back side I made a basting stitch pull the back thread to adjust gathers according to the body's waist now I'll attach bodies and bottom just place the bodies on the bottom right sides together like this and make a stitch on the waist so I've attached bodies and bottom I have overlocked the seam allowance I also made top stitch now similarly I'll attach back bodies and bottom so I've attached bodies and bottom on both front and back side now I'll stitch the side fitting seam on both sides so I've stitched side fitting seam on both sides lastly I'll attach band collar with the neckline I have a detailed video on how to cut and finish the band neckline I'll share the link in the description box you can check it out from there now I'll keep the opening of collar on the back side just fold the band by half mark a tuck for the center mark the center on the front bodies as well match both centers now in this neckline important thing to keep in mind is I have deducted one inch from the neckline on both front and back side so you have to include that measurement in the collar length and when I'll attach the collar with the neckline one inch will remain like this on both front and back side So I have pinned up the collar and this is how it will look. I have deducted 1 inch from both front and back neckline on the bodies. But you have to include that part in the band collar. So now I will just attach the collar. So I have attached the collar, now fold it by half, keep the seam allowance direction towards the
collar and make the top stitch I'll start stitching from the shoulder because we need to make back and forth stitch and it won't look nice on the edge of the collar So collar is ready. You can add eye and hook on the back side or else you can just leave it like that. So collar is ready and with this my dress is completed and this is how it looks. You can make different variations in halter neckline as per your choice. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you like this video. If you do please don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Till then take care. Bye bye.